ฮ้ยหลูสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับโอ้โหน่ารักจริงจริงเฮ้ยหลูโอชูไหนไหมจูดามใช่ไหมจูดามอืมอืมอืมอืม Well, today I've come out with Lily. Uh, we've come out for uh, another roulette, and uh, oh, someone's forgotten their glasses here. Maybe this small print on the menu here. You need some glasses. Anyway, I'll leave those there. The menu here is for the restaurant, and uh, fish is definitely on the menu. Um, but I want to give you this. Menu over here. This is the menu for fishing, for renting rod. And since 2012, the price is here. I'm showing you the uh, renting side. Over here is uh, you bring your own rod. But uh, 500 baht for the day, and you get two bags of food. And uh, the bags are obviously 50 baht a bag. And that's from eight in the morning till six p.m. at night. Oh, wow, well, we came along to this place because uh, Lily started talking about John, and John is currently in Australia. Uh, he's been out fishing, and on the way through San Kampeng, I thought I was just looking up on the internet the other day about this fishing park, and why not pay it a visit? A wonderful-looking place. Okay, well, I've just talked to the lady here about uh, possibility of coming here to fish. She's telling me that if you pay 2,000 baht deposit, uh, the whole day is 500 baht and you get a rod and two bags of fish, food, and the fish food uh, is 50 baht a bag if you want more than that. So you get your 1,500 baht back at the end of the day. You can spend a whole day here from six in, in the sorry from eight in the morning until six at night, just enjoying this wonderful view. Look at it. I think I could sit there all day. The lady was saying you can get uh, catfish and many other types of fish here. I asked her if there was such things as arapaima because I've seen those in other uh, advertised sites and they don't have arapaima here. But the size of the catfish, huge. Uh, sat by the bank of this and catching a huge fish like that, I think I'd be in shock. But I think it would be good fun. But I think the predominant reason of want to come here is just to relax by the water. Just sit underneath those trees in the shade and watch the fish feeding on the surface, splashing every now and again. Many people have asked me, what is my favorite coffee shop? I think this could be on the list. I've come here today to Cafe Naive. Uh, we're out at San Kampeng. This is uh, actually uh, labeled on Google as the Chiang Mai Art Museum. A lovely coffee shop it's absolutely gorgeous coffee and here in this cafe area currently there's an exhibition of art beautiful artwork on the wall I want to see I want you to see the textures here this is very beautiful stuff it's a collage of faces in this one The ambience here is absolutely brilliant. Uh, the the colour scheme, uh, the, the surroundings, the layout, uh, I think is what appeals to me uh, first. Uh, score of five, this is a five for me. There's such an attraction for the eyes. You feel a lot of satisfaction sitting around such beautiful objects and in a setting that also provides you coffee uh, there's a little bit of tinkering in the music in the background and you know there's a nice flow th of, of air through the building you can sit out the back and enjoy the uh, the coolness in the shade or you can sit inside the cafe and enjoy the artwork as well there's actually a large museum building down behind with a lot of artwork on display and uh, not just this 
uh, this week's art display inside the cafe. I've been here before and I showed you uh, a little bit of what was going on here before, uh, but I, I want to take you through how I feel about this place today. The experience you get here is really nice. So on a score of what it could be is five, what it gives you is five, and the welcome is five. The people are nice, they're friendly, they're very welcoming indeed. The coffee, five. Nalak factor, well, this is a big attraction here. You have something here which is unique in all its, uh, in all its form. There are so many things here which are stunning in their, in their presentation, the colours. Uh, the idea that you get here is that uh, pe people have actually been creative and they've not just followed form of somebody else, they've actually done something to make a unique style of art, a unique style of beautiful creation. So as you can understand, this is quite high on my list of good places to come to, to relax and enjoy coffee, enjoy relaxing time in a setting that is inviting, in a setting that is enjoyable to be in and stay for a while to relax and enjoy what's around you. come to Cham Thor, which is a restaurant out in the middle of the paddies again. Very interesting actually, very nice. Uh, it's set around, the eating area is set around a pool, a pond, and there are lots of fish. And there's also fish on the menu, but you don't see them being caught. It's pretty high on the Nalak factor actually, and uh, there's plenty here to see. Uh, the ambience here is pretty good and uh, I'd give it a five. And the ambience that you could achieve uh, whilst you're here, uh, as long as you come away from the noise, is round about a, round about a four, uh, because there are distractions from the noise. And uh, <sighs> there's something else. It's another one of those, there's no center here. There's no focal point, but if you find yourself uh, at a point, at a location around the estate, we, I'm using that word on purpose because it's a huge layout, uh, then you know you can find a place to sit and, and relax. We've tried the food here and I had uh, Kalpad Bu, that was very nice, slightly salty, but uh, all the same very very good. It's a great selfie place, it's a nice welcome uh, you get from people here and you get to uh, plenty of attention from the waitress and the people that want to serve you. They're, they're keen to serve you, they're keen to uh, please you. They want to give you a service as you come through the door. That's nice. If I talk about how much NALAC there is here, I think you can see as I walk around here there is so much going on and you know you can't help but feel that there's a, let me walk over this way, it's a bit um, dry this way as a bridge rather get my feet wet uh, there's so much going on here you can see uh, a lot of cute backgrounds and there's a fly in my eye and 
you can walk on things and go places and have your photograph taken in some, front of something and you can fill up your bike in the middle of the paddy too. You know, you can propose to somebody here, you can have your wedding photographs taken here, you can make a romantic uh, affair here in the middle of the paddy. Why not? It's what we do here in Thailand. We enjoy romance, we enjoy happiness, we enjoy being being different. I'm going to walk up these stairs. They're pretty solid. And you can get a good view over the estate. Fascinating. Well, a coffee for 45 baht is not bad at all. Uh, the espresso or the Americano are 45 baht each. It's a nice coffee. Scores on the doors here are five for possible, four for actual, five for welcome, four for the coffee, and for the actual NALAC factor, I would give this a five. Once again, it's a bit like uh, Jungle de Cafe. It's over the top. It's more than five, but five is the score. Absolutely first class place. You can bring your family here and you can have lunch and the food is delicious and uh, reasonably priced. Uh, you can walk around with a camera in your hand and take selfies to your heart's content. And you can sit at various places throughout uh, the, the uh, property here, not just around the water, but in little uh, huts around the area too. Very, very nice. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this uh, Alley Roulette. Hope you enjoyed the trip out. Consider subscribing if you've not already. Check the description below for the locations that we were visiting today. I'll say that again. Check the description below for the places we were visiting today and uh, leave us a like, please. Leave us a comment. Till next time, stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.